I just don't want to, I'm not, I don't want that shit to get me out because I don't want to start stress eating. I do not want to start stress eating. A lot of the oh, what's up, what's up, what's up? Um, just come to you real quick, give you a real quick uh report. Weight loss Wednesday. I'm gonna make this video really short and sweet. Um, I lost point two pounds. So last week on Wednesday I had gained point four. This week on Wednesday I lost point two. It basically means I'm 196.4 right now. Um, have been able to get my workouts in like I really, really want, but I have been doing something. Um, it's pretty much because I'm focused on this book, um, like trying to make these deadlines. Uh, we had to have the first um, edits submitted in by Monday. And now we're working on cover design and then trying to make sure the second edits go in and the second edit on the cover design and all that stuff. So that's what I'm pretty much working on. But I am still doing something. So by Sunday, hopefully I'll have a better loss to report to you. Um, my blood pressure uh, is staying stable. It's not too high, not too low. I still haven't checked my glucose for the month. Um, I'm going through some stuff y'all some stuff um there's some issues at work that i'm dealing with some legal issues that me and uh the higher up ain't been getting along and it didn't brought it down to some charges being filed by me not on me this time around um in addition to I, I put myself into counseling because I thought that I was about to break. I thought I was about to snap, crackle, and pop. And I don't want to be in that place. So I started counseling again today and found out yesterday. Remember I told you I was having issues with the house. Whether or not I was going to keep it, what I was going to do with it, uh, whether I was going to like pay these people what I owe so I can go ahead and stay even though the house has so many issues with it um but I hadn't been notified from them as far as like what was going to be our next step but I found out yesterday on accident that my house is being sold tomorrow so yeah I'm dealing with that <laughs> I don't know when I'm supposed to be out of it um I actually called the lawyers and the lawyers said that they have no record that there's supposed to be a sale tomorrow but the lender is saying that there is a sale tomorrow and the Veterans Administration is saying that there is a sale tomorrow. But nobody can tell me where this sale is because I'm supposed to have a legal right to show up to the sale, state my case, because my loan was sold to another company back in June. And that new company for months didn't even have a loan account number for me to even discuss my account with them. And then the first that I got from them said that um, don't pay anything right now until we get everything straightened out. So... Then I left the country and, you know, on vacation and now I'm back and it just so happened somebody came by my house and stuck a note on my door saying that they need to appraise my property and they claim that the VA is the one that sent them here. And I called the VA and the VA is like, no, we ain't sending them there. I don't, um, maybe the people that are selling your house are not like selling my house. Yeah, so I don't know. But don't fret. The bright side of that is I found me another house that I could possibly buy for sixteen thousand dollars three bedroom house completely updated and rehab this person is going into foreclosure so that's what the bank is trying to sell that property for and maybe i'll get that the downside about that is that i was trying to move out of the city and go back to more suburban county fat lifestyle because i'm tired of hearing sirens and tired of police and tired of people breaking into my property and my insurance rates being super high, my taxes being super high, all because I live in the city. But this house on a street that I have family on, cousins who I really don't want them to visit that much, but I do still like them. Um, it's a quiet street, but you know you have those quiet streets in the center of some fucked up areas and that's pretty much what's going on like you walk down the street to the corner and make a left go to the gas station you're liable to probably get clipped but on that street you cool it is the only house on the street that does not have a garage which i like 
Hey, my car has been parked in the garage. I've been living in this house for 12 years, so I've always had a garage. And uh, what else? It doesn't have a fence on the back of the property because it's the only house that doesn't have a garage. All the other properties have garages, have fences that close off the rest of the yard. And I need that back fence for the dog if I happen to get this house. But it's a three-bedroom. I'm currently in a two-bedroom right now. I'm in basically a one-story with an upper attic that I can use for an upper room. And I have a basement that has an extra bedroom in it right now with two storage rooms. This place is three bedrooms with some... I'm assuming the rooms are pretty small, but the house has like 500 more square feet of space than my house. I don't know. And then it has, um, I don't know what's on the first floor. I think it's just a super big living room, super big dining room, and a big kitchen. Then there's an open basement as well. I'm not sure what type of rooms are in the basement. And the house does not have central air. Oh my gosh. I have not lived without central air since 2005 also. The last apartment I was in didn't have central air and I had window units. I don't, I don't know if I want to go to window units for a whole damn house, though. So, But I'm going to look at it and see exactly like what would be the cost of trying to upgrade that if I can get this house. It's only $16,000. Like, $16,000. So, even though I got some stressful shit going on with the house, as far as the house is concerned, there is a possible bright side. Um, in addition to the fact that the lawyer is saying that he ain't got no record of the sale. So if he ain't got no record of the sale and he ain't going to show up for sale, then the house may not actually get sold and it may give me some more time. And first the VA said there was nothing that they could do for me. They couldn't help me. But then the guy called me back and said, well, maybe, maybe we could try to do something. At least try to maybe work something out. I don't know. I only owe like, I want to say 45000 left on this house. It was 70000 when I bought it. So I think I owe like $45,000 left on it. Majority of what I owe them is legal fees. They got like about three, dollars $4,000 of penalties and legal fees that they've charged me on top of the, the, the amount that I have actually defaulted on. But I don't know. Um, I just don't want to, I'm not, I don't want that shit to get me down because I don't want to start stress eating. I do not want to start stress eating. A lot of this stuff can get me... I'm going to tell you, like, a lot of the shit I've been going through this past year and a half, past two years, can be um, greatly related to the fact that I put on 20 pounds in all this time. So, I'm trying not to overdo it even more than I already am. You feel me? I just don't want to be in that physical place, in that mental place. So, in counseling. But in my counseling, evidently the session was supposed to be 50 minutes long. We ended up um, being there for like two damn hours, y'all. And I'm sorry I'm rocking. I'm just, I haven't even undressed and came home from work yet. But I ended up being at two hours in my first counseling session today. And we were there discussing so many things that she wants me to come back on Friday to continue our session. That's how deep we were getting. So, yeah, short video, weight loss Wednesday. Um, lost point two. I'm now 196.4. I don't do the pay me or pay out until Sunday. Um, last said last time, like I said, for the week I had lost point four. So since it was under point five, I didn't take money from the kitty or put money in. So yeah. All right, y'all. I have um, I think some reviews to put up that I need to watch. And I wanted to go catch that new edition special that came on yesterday because it comes back on again tonight at 8. I want to do that too. So, see y'all later. Talk to you later.